Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. I'm looking a bit disheveled because, shock horror, we're running a little bit late. Just a smidgen, not as late as last weekend, you'll be pleased to hear. Hello, Bob Bob, radio's on, gotta go. So we're taking Bam Bam today. We're going to Oxtals. We're doing our first B hundred of the season. That was beautiful. Wasn't it beautiful? So, beautiful. but yeah, like I said, we're we're not late. We're just not on time. Two very different things. So just plaiting her up quickly, and we'll get going. And you've probably heard that Pete's here. And we've got something very special in store. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm ready for this. <laughs> All right, over and out. What a whistle stop tour that was. I don't know where everyone's gone. My mate! Well, uh, anyway, all plastered up. They're not looking too shabby. Jam's like, I literally don't want to go. And we're on our way, only five minutes behind schedule, which I personally think is positively early. We'd never be able to pass you the camera. Oh, she's, oh, she's angry we're late. Good girl. Come on, Jamie. Good girl. Good girl. Brum, brum, brum. We're in the box. And today, our guest appearance person is Mr. Peter from Pete's Eats. Great to have you back, Pete. How are you feeling today? A bit nervous, um, but we'll... Uh... It's a big day today, there's a little, a bit of a surprise oh, there, yeah, a bit, yeah. I'm very excited. I say a bit of a surprise, there's a lot of a surprise. Very, very for excited. a very special segment that does appear in some of these event vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> I am nervous about it. Pete's nervous and excited, you guys just stay tuned. There is a lot of action to come before the main event, which is going to be Pete's Eats. That's the main event of any eventing vlog that we mm -hmm. go to, so it's... The rest is just, you know, we're just filling it out. Filling. Filling out, yeah. Is it B-roll, you call it? B-roll, this is all B-roll. Yeah, you All the A-roll. We're going to Oxtals, like I mentioned, do the B-100. Last time I did a B-100 on Jam, I got eliminated. Woohoo! The time before that, I retired. And the time before that, I did actually get a double clear and get placed. So we're gonna try and channel those vibes rather than the other two vibes. But I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous, but also feeling quite geared up for it today. Do you agree, Hobbit? Are you feeling? I think, to the, no, I'm not feeling nervous. I think you've, you've done lots of training. She's been going really well. And I think today is about confidence run for both of you. It's, yeah, so. it's about, like, I wanted to get some hundreds under my belt for badminton because... Yeah. So I'm chilled about today. I think that the, the only thing that matters is a confident round and if you have to do some circles or whatever, I'm, I'm pretty chilled at all. Hear that, guys? Yeah. I have permission, permission to, to circle. circle. Permission to circle? <laughs> Granted. I'm excited and it looks really nice. I've had a look at the course pictures online. It looks beautiful. We've not actually been to this venue before, but I've heard very good things. So fingers crossed. Anyway, the next thing to tell you guys is this is actually a sponsored video and it's kind of in line with me being a bit nervous because I've been sweating a little bit today and we've actually got the lovely brand Native sponsoring this video. We are going to be doing a bit of what I like to call a sniff test. Pete, you're going to be involved in this. I don't think so. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, Native are a company who are making toothpaste, body washes and deodorants and I have been testing out their deodorants for the past month or so. I wanted to really put them through their paces. I have a very active lifestyle so it's really important to me that my deodorant keeps me smelling lovely 24 hours of the day. It's important to Pete too as well. He doesn't like a smelly girlfriend, do you? No. So I made the decision to move to roll on deodorants a couple of years ago. So I was really excited when Native got in touch with me to do this sponsored video. They have loads of different scents available. I went for the lavender and rose, which you can see here. I also got peach and nectar. 
honestly so nice it's like almost perfumey it's so fruity and sweet smelling and then I also got the mint and eucalyptus which I wear on really really busy days because it is just that bit sort of stronger smelling they're really nice to put on they're not like really sticky you don't feel like you've got stuff under your arms all day it also makes your armpits feel silky smooth another thing I really love about native is that they are vegan and cruelty free they're also paraben and aluminium or aluminum for my American followers free so a massive thank you to native for sponsoring this video you can use my discount code which is just elfic I'll pop it up on the screen so here's a little look around of the native website for you all. The re-deodorants would normally be $39 but if you use my link in the description and code ELFIC that I just mentioned you'll get them for $26. That's over 33% off. With my code you can also get 20% off body wash or toothpaste. So follow the link in the description, head over to the native website and have a little gander for yourself. Check them out and a big thank you to native. Right on we go, I'll see you at Opstalls. determined to squeeze their car through so we're, we were on time i promise but now we've only got 45 minutes to the massage not a bit tight from Smart Grooming and it's instead of using baby oil because there you go, I'll show you the brand so basically it's going to get them all glossy around their eyes and nose but it's got UV protection so you can only use baby oil when it's not sunny which is most of the time in the UK um, but I thought I'd try this see if it gives us a good shine not quite as shiny as baby oil but I'm rather not as shiny and not burnt to be fair We'll use this on sunny days, bam. Quite nice. Just doesn't make them go as black, does it? Give me your eye. Mom, you do the weirdest things. Yeah. I'll give it 10 for UV protection, 7 for shine. Not bad. Okay, so you guys seem to have really enjoyed the dressage voiceovers in the previous vlog. So here we go. We're doing it again. So this is obviously a B100 test. A little bit more difficult than the previous two. But again, you know, it's not it's not a particularly hard test. Nothing crazy comes up. Um, I will say now, I was really thrilled with this test. In my opinion, there was kind of one big mistake where we threw some marks away. But other than that, it's kind of a case of polishing up, dotting the I's and crossing the T's really. So, off we go. I'd say that Jamie looks a lot more consistent in her contact and I certainly have Lucinda and also a new dressage instructor that I went to 
just literally last week. I only had one lesson, but he gave me a really good tip for test riding. And I have the pair of them to really thank, to be honest, because I can see a huge improvement from the tests that she was doing last year. I think she just, yeah, it looks a much prettier picture. So these were two 15 meter circles. Fairly, fairly accurate, I'd say. Again, I'm just really noticing like the consistency is the main thing. I'm seeing that, you know, that wiggly hand, it's my left hand, my right as you're looking at it now. Just quite a lot of movement. It's just, it's one of those things I'm really struggling to control. And when I'm riding, I think about it and yet I, I can't really see it as much when I'm on the horse, but I can really see it now. Anyway, that's fine. This halt coming up, my goodness, I could shed a tear. Because Jam is not good at halting. A little bit dishevelled going into it. But look at that for a square halt. I was a bit worried about having that in the test. Because often she just wants to rein back. Or she wants to go forward. She doesn't really like being still. Uh, but I was thrilled with that. I don't know what mark I got for it. Because I've not got my sheet back yet. But I'm hoping that would be a kind of 8 or 8.5. So here is the mistake. And boom. You've just witnessed it. So Jammy sort of caught eyes with some new horses coming down to the warm up. Just came up in that free walk and then it kind of, yeah, it sort of ruined the whole free walk really. It's a movement that I really need to work on. Um, but you know, it's hardly, hardly a crazy mistake is it? I was pleased with that canter transition because at off church our canter transitions weren't fantastic. Whereas that one she stayed very consistent, didn't come above the bridle which is always nice. I would say her canter work wasn't her strongest in this test as in I think the trot work was a lot nicer I don't think her canter work is bad by any stretch of the imagination um, but I think the trot actually shone through which isn't usual for her but the canter work is still looking good came across I was very pleased with how accurate that was so that was meant to be a transition on X and I'd say we pretty much hit the reef with that one back up into canter I would have liked a little bit more inside flexion there but we have more than we'd usually have. I often get remarks saying that I need to work on my suppleness with her. And I took that forward to the dressage lesson I mentioned. And we really worked on getting her to flex both ways. And teaching her to kind of have her own self-carriage. And I think that's kind of that's shining through. But I, I could afford to have a little bit more flexion, especially in those canter circles when you're kind of meant to be on a bit of a bend. The arena was actually quite slippery in there as well. You can kind of tell around the corners. That downward transition wasn't as nice as the first. It was on for some time, didn't it? So yeah, we were sort of protecting ourselves a little bit. But Jam did an excellent job. She really kept her cool. And uh, I don't know what my final halt looks like. I've not actually watched this far into the video because I try and keep it a little bit unseen for these voiceovers. Wow! Oh my word, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. Given that we were running so late. What do you reckon, Janet? I was quite um, quite pleased with that. Jamie looked relaxed and you know, cool. Suggest a score, or are we gonna wait? Tricky. If that was me judging, I reckon 27.5. What do you reckon, Pete? <sighs> Got to be nice, Trevor and I. I'd say. I, 29. 29. Okay. Pretty, pretty close, then, you and I. <laughs> yeah. Let's do what the judge Well, I have no expertise, I'm just guessing. And it's sub 30 just to keep Meg happy. Hello, hello. What did you think? Hello, hello. You're pleased, quite pleased with that. Yeah. I was pleased with that. I think my only thing is um, Good girl. the free walk. She just caught some horses. Yeah. And I like her yeah. Um, I, I thought it was really nice. Love, yeah. nice, really nice halt in yeah. front of the judge. Yeah, well, that's the thing. And she was. I think the judge may say that she's a little bit on the forehand and a bit. It was hard because it's slopey, isn't it? It was, yeah, it was really slopey. Slopey. And it's slippy because it's a bit hard. Yeah. But Jam was where I asked her to be, so yeah. I'm really pleased with her because she. I'm was, really pleased with her. I thought she looked really she sweet, did exactly obedient. What I asked. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah. so I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Whatever mark we get, I think I'm yeah. very pleased because that was Jammy yeah. listening to me. Well done, Donny. Right, let's go walk the course. Okie dokie. So, dressage is all done. Heading off to walk the course now. Start box there and fence number one, which is a very inviting vlog. Vlog? It's a log. It's not a vlog. Know my job too well. That it's is. a it's a trunken. Um, we're not going to walk up to it though because the horse is about to jump in. So onward. Numero dos, three, 
and four in the distance. Alrighty, of course we walked, just power walking back to the box now. Yeah, really nice course. A lot to jump out there. Oh, hang on, my bottle is slipping. Um, yeah, a lot to jump, but nothing jam can't jump. Just, I've, I'm gonna have to ride, ride every stride, guys. Um, yeah, forward riding is gonna be needed because there's quite a few combinations that there's not a lot of options to not meet them on the strides, on the distances they're kind of walked at. So yeah, forward, confident riding. I think I'll be fine. Maggie Moon. A little bit close to that, but Jamie is very clever. Good girl. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jump off, jump. Got a big triple bar around there. Good girl, Jan. Beautiful. Good girl. Very well ridden. <gasps> that was a bit scary. Misjudged by Maggie, that was. Oh dear. Good girl. Well done. Well done, Megs. Excellent. Jammy was a hero. What a clever girl. So, Maggie, how was that? You rode well. You rode well. You were nervous, weren't you? I was nervous. No. She was just a little bit lucky, but once yeah. I was, yeah, I rode differently to at Western rather than being like, oh, okay, I'll circle it because I know, let's be like really determined. And yep. I was just like, every fence, give like, her come confidence. On. And then after, like, she looked at the little watermelons who after I just gave her a little like tap on the shoulder, like, no, come on, because I knew it was another spooky one next. Yeah. And yeah, I was really pleased. The double at the end. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, should we put three in? I was like, I don't think we can. <laughs> she was oh, like, oh, God, okay, I'll go for three, but I'll take off now then, Mum. She was really she good. Got so much jump. She, she was, was really going good. like sky high and that triple bar was huge. I was coming in like, <laughs> thank God I've seen a stride. <laughs> Enormous. And she was going so high. I was like, please don't come down on this. You did really well. You both did brilliantly. Know. You really, really, really tough, well. but yeah. I need to bear in mind that she's being a bit lucky cross country because it is a bit spooky out there. So yeah, yeah, just very but, yeah. determined and not taking anything for granted. No. So. And you've got to remember, it's all about confidence, going around giving her confidence. Yeah, you do not so. want to be having a run at this stage. Better to be slow. Jan, we're not picking up that hay, babes. She says I look tasty. Yeah. More uh, important than, any, than anything else. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Give her confidence. I know. Her. You don't want to be going to Bumton on a bad run. <laughs> no, I know. Very pleased with that show jumping. Well done. Excellent. Okay. We've got about 20 seconds, guys. A little bit nerve wracking. Good luck. Good go, Jamie. Go, Jamie. Fly like the wind. She's over the second, guys. Heading off into the country. Pete will catch her in a minute. Oh no, that ain't her.
28.2 time. They'll finish on 38.7. Over the cross at 13, on towards the log to step down behind control comes Jamelia and Megan Alphick. They pop the log, steady up, drop off, Good girl. and on towards the water. Nicely over the second goes Georgie Woodward and Catherine Definitive. Come on, Jenny. And then clear of the treehouse wall at three and just false wall at four. As next away will be two waters here, guys. Go on, Jab. Good girl. Over a little boat, I think, down there. Go, Jabby. Good girl, Jam Jam. Dear, looks like she's worried about the time. She'll get into trouble by me. Steady up. Good girl, Jam Jam. Good girl. Well done, girls. Super lovely. Super duper. Pleased with that, guys. Look like a good round. Right, how was that? Clear. It's like Bristol. Um, clear, but with a good amount of time. 15 seconds over the time. So, so six time penalties, I think. Six time penalties, which will have, didn't tell you guys before because it makes me nervous, but she was in the lead on a mega 24 point something dressage. Um, so we've obviously lost that. However, she did the most phenom phenomenal, phenomenal clear. Um, yeah, I just wasted time at the start of setting her up because she's fighting a little bit and that's it's just something we've got to work on. So she's just we quite just fighting. This is only her course. second cross country yeah, round exactly. at 100. And it was and big. Like and there yeah. wasn't there wasn't like other than the first four fences, there wasn't a let up. Gosh. Like even the second to last was a corner, so it's not like wow. just with yeah. home. No, and what you guys needed it was a confidence round, yeah, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. You so, did not need to be making trying to make the time. No. So, uh, so, you followed instructions, yeah. so very pleased with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm super chuffed with her. <laughs> she is a great, incredible. Just good girl. Get fitness up a little bit and just work on her not fighting so much. It'll come. Start. That'll come. Oh, right, get her washed off because she's marched us back here at her yeah, pace. Thank you. <sighs> come on, Sunny Meg. Sunny Meg. Jamie, she's here. I don't like things on my legs. Come on. Gross. The most exciting time of the this day. Is the main event. The main event with Peter. There's a lot of the menu, I don't know what to get. I'm attempting the impossible because I wanted to film Pete. <laughs> Stowing away his food. <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna switch off guys because I do not want to drop these drinks. Right guys. Oh we said mm, mm. we're saving the most important part of the vlog. Look, I've got a pie. Oh, Maggie, that looks good. They only had early um, beef and chorizo then. I don't really like chorizo. And don't, don't even dare pull that face because if you want to choose what food you have, you need to come I'm with us. I'm looking your pony. Yeah, but the pony can go in the box. Anyway. Anyway, I digress. said I have what you have. Pete, oh, the most important part. And also a little surprise for you all. Right, take it away. They have the surprise, don't you? No, they haven't had the surprise yet. They're not. Take it away, Pete. They're going to have the surprise. What right. Do you think, Pete? Now. Pete eats. What's in the menu today, and how he will rate it? Pete eats. What has his life come to? Let's see. It's Pete eats. So on today's episode of Pete eats, we have gone for a classic burger. We've got a brioche bun there. We've got a nice thick, thick patty. Got some fresh lettuce. What looks like some crispy onions. There it is. Burger sauce. But none of that matters. What matters is what Pete thinks. It's a nice burger I've had an event. Okay, wow. 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 But then I have only been to what? But still a, a massive statement there, guys. So we've come again, Pete. <laughs> yeah, and it's easy to get around the cross country. No, would you so. come to this particular we, 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 burger oh. establishment? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Although yeah. I have to have a pie next, but I can have some of yours, alright? No. no. Well, I think Pete does need to test the pie as well. <laughs> yeah, I've got to change everything. How will people know what the pie's like? The next. Oh, the here are the chips. Chips are good. Chips are, good. Chips mm. are fries, which I like. And here's a pie, which is warmed up, which I very much appreciate. That's actually my pie. 
beef and chorizo. Oh, you said you like chorizo. I don't like chorizo, but that's the only one that's left. <laughs> Pete, would you care to give us a quick rating on the burger so I, I can eat? I whatever I did, that's the thing. You've, you've gone quite high and I think you've gone, I think you've gone too high to things. I think we should scrap those, just kind of just a This is the first official pizza run. eats, really. Now we've got the jingle. I'm going to give this an eight for Wow. Oh, the burger. That's a high, goodness me. Start on All right, right, I'm going to switch off and actually have my pie now, guys. Thank my you, pizza eats. My word, this pie is literally banging. Also, just met the most lovely girl who came to airdrop videos. But we've just realised that she went away too quickly and the airdrop didn't quite finish. So I just wanted to say something on the vlog. I'm really sorry if all your videos weren't in the video, in the vlog. Um, we didn't didn't quite get them all, which is sad. But thank you so, so much for coming and videoing. The pie, guys. Honestly, incredible. Do you, do you want just a bite? Yeah. No, no. I just want to have one bite because otherwise that's really unfair if you eat all of my pie. But it's PT's. Pete, you really should like this because you're very into your pasties, being a cornman. Yeah, but number one rule, pasties aren't pies. <laughs> Is that the number one rule? <laughs> Is that in life, or...? If you ever call a pasty a pie, you assume. Okay, how would you rate it? I think that's banging. In fact, that's better than some of the pasties you've given me in Cornwall. I'm not gonna lie. The All meat's right, so tender. I'm not editing that out, no. You're gonna... You're gonna... No. Take it back. How do you rate the pie? I'm gonna rate it now. <laughs> Pete, you can't not rate it. That's, that's difficult. That's nice. That's a good pie. The meat's so tender. It's not like grizzly or anything. You rate it because you're pie. Um. I oh, know you can't. It's not peachy. It's good back. Um. Do eight and a half though. I would actually go as high as nine. No. And the only reason it's not getting a ten is because I don't like chorizo. But that's not their fault. You're not qualified for this. All right. All right, that is the end of PT's. Thank you very much. Well done, darling. What a legend, huh? All right, she says, take me home. Jamelia? It's got the new sat nav out. A new sat nav? Yeah. Oh, goodness. oh wow. God, Mum, is that a new sat nav? Is that. <laughs> My friend's nearly out of battery. But I've not even seen that model. That was like, literally just also, out a, a 2022 it did version. did a rubbish job of getting us here. <laughs> How does it work? Is it Pete, touch, where are we? The touch screen or? <laughs> so, where are we? I've still got a battery on my phone. You just put in your postcode, okay. don't you? Where do you put. Do you do DV? Just tap it. I didn't actually know. Not as I. No. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> right. You want to go? Okay. We gotta go. <laughs> How many geologists does it take to uh, figure out a map? What it's was? Not, it's not a geological. Can you map, remember so. the name of just the just little say. village we came to that was really scary? Peak. Are there any contours on that map that you could tell us about the gradient of the ground? There isn't actually any contours. Goodness. There. How are we gonna know if it's hilly or not? We can't we see it. We don't know. Stunning piece of cartography, this. Yeah. Would this be as old as your vintage maps, do you think? <laughs> it's probably not far off, is it? No, no. When are yours from? 1802 or something? Uh, the, the oldest, yeah, about 1804. Yeah. So it's yeah. really not that far off. They're teasing me, Jenny. <laughs> Driving home for Easter, on, maybe? Oh, you want a cap on, do you? You want a cap on. This is actually one of Pete's Christmas presents. Glaze and Gordon cap, and you really like it, don't you? You're rather fussy with your caps. I am, yeah. But you like this one? It's got a shark on because he's fierce. Fierce. <laughs> <laughs> and Hobbit, oh, we got no cap, um, but she's got some lovely stripes on. Lovely stripes. So, we're going to debrief in just a second, but Pete, do you want to get this horrible bit out of the way first? <laughs> I do feel a bit, I feel a bit bad making you do this. If you really want to do it, you don't have to do it. <laughs> you put a camera into my face and say, if you don't love me, you don't have to do it, it's fine. Sweet. So Pete is of course dying to do the sniff test from the native deodorant. Um, it was a stressful day, Pete, because I did get very sweaty walking the course, then obviously all the jumping, then the cross country, but on top of that, I had some sort of anxious perspiration. <laughs> um, nervous, weren't you? I was very nervous. I didn't want to let on too much. No, I can tell you were nervous. Yeah, because I wasn't being my normal gobby self. <laughs> Yes, sir, no, sir. 
Yeah, it was a bit quiet. Yeah, it was a bit quiet. Quite quiet I was I was actually quite scared. It's and I don't scared. Yeah, I don't like telling mum how big no. the course is before because then she makes me even more scared. She goes, Oh, I don't think we should do this. And then I, I got my god. Quite don't supportive and good. Yeah, but you were because I came up across coach and I went, Yeah, it's really nice. And I think she can't do it on there. And I was like, No, but you were nervous before the show jumping. Was I? Yeah, I think you were. I was to be fair. And then I got even more nervous when I went into the show because I kind of I'd done some breathing exercises yeah. and I'd been like it's not actually that big because I've gone up to it and I went in and I was like <laughs> it is that really is big. actually really big the triple bar it's like blimming cantering up to Everest anyway sorry Pete <laughs> darling because you were you've been waiting to sniff my armpit so I've had the lavender and rose roll on native deodorant right I personally I think it's fine but you can't smell your own you can't smell your own brand <laughs> do you not want to do it you don't I'll tell you what just from there because you you if it was bad you'd get a whiff from there wouldn't you oh and he goes <laughs> how is it no don't go God, don't go for seconds <laughs> it's not bad is it yeah it smells like a rose your, the scent that you used it doesn't what even it, lavender lavender and rose yeah, but it. what's it what's interesting guys this is the literally the grossest segment i've ever done on my vlog but like you still get you still get the scent through, don't you? It's not oh, yeah, just I can a, smell a lavender. Yeah, it's not just neutral. You still actually get the smell. So well done, native. You've officially passed one of the sweatiest days I've had this year. Hooray! That's a statement, isn't it? Pass the pink sniff test. Well, this is not becoming a regular <laughs> thing, Janet. This, this is. If there's anyone else, right anyone else out there that wants to be sniffed by Pete, no, no, I'm gonna no, no, leave no. an email address no, down below. Dangerous. Just contact. So let's debrief properly on today's antics. Dressage, I bet she's so happy with dressage. She got 24.3, which was second within the entire section. And it doesn't even really count a second because first was Will Rowland. And you guys will know him if you watched my pre presenting Bicton video because he did the five star there. And he got a 25 at Bicton five star. So realistically, we'll we'll let you have it. You can you can be first in all of the dressages. Um, but then Jam was after that, and she was only point half a point five. Yeah, my maths yeah. is failing me. Half a point behind him. I mean, obviously he's going to be on a complete baby that's probably never rented before. But still, absolutely gassed with that. Very very happy. Show jumping, like Mum just said. A little bit nervous um big track big track lovely big arena big track but very spooky everything was so bright and jam with the watermelons was a bit like oh i'm not going near that but luckily i had lucinda in my head being like right don't do circles and i just did my counting i made sure in the warm-up because i was going around a little bit like <laughs> a bit nervous in the warm-up and we had a pole i don't know if that's on camera or not um, and it's because my canter was tiny and even though I was counting, I was counting in this slow canter so I was like, no, actually count in the rhythm that you've been taught to count in and then adjust the canter to that rather than adjusting my counting to the canter, if that makes yeah. sense. So I did that which gave me a much bigger, more powerful canter. Went in and we did a wonderful clear! So happy. happy. Jammy saved your bacon. Jammy saved my bacon at the double. To be fair, I had said, I said, Jammy, we're going on two here. And she went, what? <laughs> and then I went, no, seriously, we're going on two. And then she went, oh, all right then. Holy I had God. actually put my feet down to go on three, Meg, but I will pick them up rapidly again. So yeah, she did save me. And it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was the smoothest looking round because I was a little bit holding her. But I, I actually, yeah, I, I think it rode nicely. Like. Yeah, I wasn't disappointed with the round, like I was still pretty tired road other than to the double where I needed to be a bit more decisive. Then we go on to cross country, again quite nervous, it was a big track, there were lots of things that will sort of come up in the badminton course, so I, yeah I was a bit nervy, um, but my god she absolutely flew everything, she was incredible, she was so bold, a little bit fighty at the start which obviously cost us some time. But she was just having one of those days where it felt like wherever I looked at the fence, like when I looked at a point in the distance, we jumped it at that exact point. Like she was so with me and just completely like, she just felt like she was really just concentrating on the job and like really listening to everything I said, which was 
a lovely position to be in and yeah bold as brass she did that the scary double the scary brush thing that you were at she was just incredible like the scary drop the scary drop there was literally like no questions asked at no point did i think oh god i need to ride here like keek it was just like yeah should have um but i was just saying to mum i think partly the reason why I did mess up the time a bit. I mean, I was never going out to have a fast round where I really just needed to get clear because I've literally only done 100 cross country on her. Oh, I'm low on battery. I've got a second one, I keep rambling. Um, but yeah, the course had a lot of technical stuff at the end, like some combinations that had all the water and that was all to be done in the last minute 20. So I needed to be, although I was on time for my third minute marker, I actually needed to have thought about what was coming next and worked out that I should have been ahead of time for then to have given me more time for the last sort of more twisty bit of the course. But alas, still very, very pleased. I'm gonna have a quick battery change, hang on. Right, I can afford to do about another four hours of talking now, guys. You'll be pleased to hear. That's great news. Isn't it great news? Just what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to placings. So, I was leading going into cross country, but I did come home with six time penalties because I was 15 seconds over the time. So we did miss out on the win, but you know, it's, it's one of those things. But we've still done rather well. So we've ended on 30 point, why can't I do maths today? 30 point, I'm here lit, oh my God, I'm literally adding six. <laughs> All right, we've ended on 30.3, which has put us into fourth place, which is crazy. Like that's still, like I'm, I'm so gassed to have come fourth, that's nuts. And yeah, that's having added six to our score. And I think the winner was only on 28, so it's not like it was crazy. Yeah, well, it wasn't like a really wide sort of difference. Um, and it's nice to know that even like with her dressage, we could have still afforded to have got some time. So yeah, I'm, I'm literally so happy. So, so buzzed. I don't know what else to say really. I'm just really chuffed. It's made me feel a lot more confident for grassroots. Like it was, it was a testing track. It was the level above what we're doing at grassroots. Although obviously we know that they're gonna absolutely build it to the maximum capacity. Um, but it maybe it's fairly similar to, in size to that track, I would have thought. Yeah, fairly similar size, yeah. but sort of more technical it yeah. will be. Yeah. But that's fine, like she like she just did everything really well. Like I literally can't fault her at all. I'm just I'm so happy, so so pleased with her. She's an absolute legend. Just looking at her down yeah, there on the camera and I just wanna cry and hug her like she's literally incredible. She made it feel so easy. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Good day and of course a good uh, good day of pizza eats. Oh my goodness, a very good pizza eats today. Good yeah, it, was, it was a good one. I really impressed that burger compared to what I've had before. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. But the good thing is, Pete, is you've got a lifetime ahead of you <laughs> of trying like more and more places. So you like isn't life just great? Isn't it exciting? Yeah. And now we can talk about it, Pete. What What do you think of your jingle? <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop singing it. <laughs> We love the jingle. There's a bit of a story by the jingle. So I, obviously I know I always try and sing a jingle when Pete eats, but I can't come up with anything because I'm not very creative. So I went on to Fiverr, which is like this really cool website. You can basically get like loads of people go on it with various skills and you can employ just random people to do random bits of work for you. Like whether it's editing or like getting jingles made, they do loads of stuff. Um, so I went on there and found these these jingle random makers. guys, yeah, these jingle makers, and I was like, "Can you make me a jingle?" So I paid up this jingle maid, and then Pete actually got a new car the other day. And the first thing I played with <laughs> this new car was this jingle he knew nothing about. <laughs> oh, it's so funny! I'm living chuff with it. I would go as far to say as I love it. <laughs> it's it's a little earworm but get used to hearing it because it's going to be in every Pete's Eats now. I might make a, an intro for it. I think people should now. comment whether they like it. Please comment, guys, whether you like it or whether... Comment if you like it. If you didn't like it, well, well get some taste. It be <laughs> if you didn't like it, what would you like to see instead? Yeah, I'm sure everyone's going to love it. I just can't see... I think everyone's going to love it. I yeah. love it. So watch this space, guys. Get ready to see Pete's Eats up in flashing lights because Develop. he's going places. 
He's gonna be a star. <laughs> Soon this won't be a shark in his hat, it'll be a big PC logo. <laughs> so he's gonna have that. It's going too far. Oh god, alrighty, we do have a last. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, do give it a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe, guys, because we've got foals on the way and we've got the big, scary Babington Peach grass Nets roots. birthday. Oh, yes. Gosh, we have got Peach Nets birthday coming up. Don't May is going to be a busy month, isn't it? A busy month, Very busy. had by all. Yes. So hit that subscribe button. All right. I live, laugh, love ya. Bye, guys. See you nice. soon. Cheers and gone. Bye. Cheers and gone. Must be Cornish, you. Seats. What's in the menu today and how he will rate it? Beat Seats. What has his life come to? Let's see. It's Beat Seats. I think I've got Chucky on my face, don't you? Don't pick because I look really ugly.